Governor Nikki Haley, even after her response to the State of the Union address. And this morning in Columbia, she released this year's state spending plan. WYFF News Source Patrick Hushin reports from the State House. It's being called the year of $1.3 billion. That's $1.3 billion in supplemental reserves. And two of the biggest questions coming into today's budget proposal was how much of that additional funding will go toward roads and whether or not there will be any additional funding for flood victims from the October floods. The thousand year flood did have a cost to it. Um, that was expected, but as I said, we were going to try and cover it as much as we could so we didn't have to go to the feds. Um, for those people that think we should have gone to the feds, it's still our taxpayer dollars. We're ta taxpayers are paying it, whether it's through the feds or here. Quit talking about it. Let's put the money in there. Let's start fixing the roads by priority and let's see the improvements that have happened. The billion dollars that we gave to roads two or three years ago without raising taxes is just now going into effect. So you're just now seeing those orange cones. So after a big week for the governor, uh, she's back here at the State House today. It's back to business as usual, and uh, she has laid out her spending plan for the fiscal year. Two of the things she's most proud of is cutting her debt in half over the last five years and doubling her reserves in the meantime. In Columbia, Patrick Hushin, WYFF News 4. So you may wonder, what would that budget mean to you as a taxpayer? Well, here are some of the highlights from the governor's spending plan. Governor Haley says she wants to put $18.5 million into a task force to fight criminal domestic violence in South Carolina, nearly $400 million into transportation issues, statewide road repair. $38 million would go toward adding instructional materials for students, including tablets for kids to use at school and at home. And after the thousand-year flood, $355 million to match what FEMA and the Department of Transportation put toward flood relief.